Hey there peeps, it's me again and I'm back for another video. This time we're going to take a look at SafePal Crypto Wallet. And of course, I had a tweet back then in which the community would vote on which wallet should I be reviewing next. So it looks like the majority says SafePal and as promised, here it is guys, okay. So I've just installed SafePal right here on my phone. So all I have to do is to click open. Okay guys, so since I don't have a hardware wallet, Aww. of course, let's try the software wallet first. Okay, so it says, Hi, welcome to SafePal. Before you start, please take one minute to complete the security settings to protect your assets and privacy. So you can see first time to use SafePal. So please set security password. So guys, this is going to be a demo account, only for demo purposes. And of course, the important tips, the security password is an advanced password for identity authentication and security settings such as fingerprint and pattern settings. These set a strong password and do not disclose to any third party. Well, as you can see right here, of course, this is just a dummy account for demo purposes only. So once the password is forgotten, users would have to initialize the password by deleting and reinstalling the safe pod app. Okay, so I have checked. I've read and accepted the terms of use. Click submit. Okay, so I could use a fingerprint for the pattern. Of course, this is just for demo purposes. Login pattern is created. Congratulations, you are now ready to start the safe pod journey. So here are some important tips. Safe pod will not store your passwords, pin code, private key, or mnemonic phrase. Please store this critical information with secure methods and do not disclose to any third party. Okay guys, so we just create our software wallet. So now we do is to create. If you already have one, you could import via mnemonic phrase, private key, key store, or observation mode. This dummy account doesn't have an account yet, so I create wallet. And please enter security password. Okay, so I will be choosing my wallet name. So let's say demo. The number of mnemonic phrase is 12. And for the passphrase, so it could be used to create hidden wallets under the same mnemonic phrase. Once it is set, you will need both the mnemonic phrase and passphrase to recover the wallet. So... Please always keep the passphrase in the secure locations. So do not store the passphrase together with the mnemonic phrase. Okay, so click yes. A new wallet was created. So mnemonic phrase is very important. Losing it will lead to permanent asset loss. So just like in any decentralized wallet in which it's non-custodial, of course, you need to take care of these mnemonic phrases or else you will lose your access forever. You must not reveal your phrases to anybody. So only you have control of it. We could choose to back up the mnemonic phrase right now or later in the wallet settings. So let's start to use. I will be backing up later on. Okay. This is the dashboard of SafePal. So you can see the prices of Bitcoin, Ethereum, BEP2, BEP20, and SafePal. So if you want to add assets, of course, you can do so. So you can uh, choose any one of these. You want to add Polkadot, of course you can do so. Doggy coin as well. And then just click. Oh, okay. Maybe I should um, enable one and Tron. And of course, Stellar and Ripple. Let's say add coin. So as you can see right here, guys, they are added to my portfolio. How about the custom token? So as you can see right here, guys, you can choose network. So the default one is Ethereum. And hopefully... Other blockchains such as Polkadot, Neo, NEM, and others will be added here as well. So let's say I am going to enter a contract address. Okay, so guys, assuming that I am going to enter a custom token, for example, Pools Finance or what we call the Pools token. So this is the contract address of Pools. So what I'm going to do is to copy it. And then I will go back to SafePal Wallet. And then I should be pasting it. And I click enter. I'm going to name it Pools. So the symbol is Pools as well. And the decimals is 18. Okay, so once I've done that, of course, click done. And it's finally added. There we go. You can see Pools Finance is already added. So let's explore the dashboard. Okay, so what about this one? 
so you can see DeFi market so it's you can see the market prices okay the DeFi one is coming soon and of course you can see right here the hottest things right now in the market the so Binance Binance Dex one inch Uniswap claim SFP BTC direct simplex and claim spark of course if you want to claim some tokens you can do so right here so let's say claim SFP so I don't have SFP oh. well it's because I've just created a new dummy account and what about spark right here so yeah this XRP account is not activated so the claim countdown is right here so please spare your account before the snapshot countdown so yeah i should be pairing that later on and then you can see the DeFi right here pancake swap compound beta flex savings curve avi sushi swap kyber just swap and cream of course under binance smart chain and also you can see the tools so this is a swapping platform so you can swap okay like btc to usdt you can do like this one or if you want a different token that you want to swap so let's say cardano under bap 20 so you can do so so let's say for example you want to swap cardano to bitcoin so you have 1000 cardano of course it will be updated for sure so assuming you have this amount of course either you can set minimum 50 percent of it or max so i don't have a balance so so you can see there are instant swaps as well please note that due to exchange rate fluctuations there may be a slight difference between the amount you receive and the estimated amount aside from swap there is also an exchange you can see right here binance and of course the trades and of course the wallets using binance DApp for the first time of course you can see right here some notes next please select a wallet to use so i click agree please enter security password you can see the balance right here and of course some settings so the maker and taker fees are 0.1 percent and if you want to enhance your security measures of course you can enable google authenticator and for this one right here you can change your security settings recovery backup transaction cost currency language and so on so if you want to try safe pal wallet of course you can do so by just going to google play store and then just search safe pal and then you can download and install it okay so it's a non gel wallet by the way so you are the one who controls the keys to the kingdom so remember your mnemonic phrases guys never share it to anyone and don't lose it just put it somewhere safe of course i'm not recommending you guys to take a screenshot of your mnemonic phrases you just simply write it down on your notebook or on a piece of paper and keep it somewhere safe okay guys so at least i have shown you on how to download install and use safe pal on your phone so i hope you've learned something from this video thank you all for watching by the way and i'm inviting you all to smash the like button hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell for you to stay notified about my latest videos regarding cryptocurrencies blockchain technology and DeFi. plus you can follow my social media channels right here or in my youtube description okay guys so from my freaking home studio this is jeff aka nomad fury and see you all on my next video